Bravo, Zulu. I was buying time, Captain. We need time. What we need is for you to respect the chain of command and listen when I tell you to shut up! I was buying time for Jones. Jones was doing fine. How you doing, Jones? He's fine. Ask yourself, Captain. Am I keeping faith with my fellow prisoners? Did you or anybody else notice a change in him recently? Mr. Scott did seem a little different, now that you mention it. In what way? Angry? Depressed? No, we see a lot of that here and know how to deal with it. No, with Mr. Scott, it was... I don't know. He'd stare right through you, like his mind was a million miles away. Were any of his clothes or personal belongings missing? It's hard to say. Our participants have so few possessions to begin with. Ms. Grant, give me a chance to find him. We have a very long waiting list, so unfortunately our policy about unauthorized absences is very strict. After three days, the participant loses their spot. Mr. Scott's been gone two days already, so that leaves you less than 24 hours. Folks, we're not going after the pilot. We need to investigate him to make our case, but the damages we'll be seeking will be far greater than what that pilot could be accountable for, or the charter company for that matter. We'll be going after bigger fish. More and more, it's looking like the best strategy will be to look for a fault with the hospital itself. Boise. No, this hospital. How do you feel about having a sister? A uh, half-sister. And I hope she turns out to be a dyke, like a super butch one. And it runs in families, right? You have a name for the baby? Molly. Jealous? That was mean. Sorry. Wow. Uh, I guess I'll just schedule something for another. I'm glad you called. There's something I need to talk to you two about. Does it have anything to do with the fact that you're involved with a member of the hospital's board of directors? You mean Dale? Are you seeing more than one member of the board? Uh, we don't talk about the case or anything that could conceivably be related to it. It is a giant conflict of interest. John, we've known each other since I was in law school. My dad negotiated your first major league contract. There is no conflict. I am always on your side. But see, we're sitting here, and we're wondering why you were so eager to take the hospital settlement, and why... I was reluctant, because I had concerns about Angelo. I still do. Yeah, it's just... I don't know how we don't second-guess every piece of advice you give us every move you make. So, uh, are you letting me go? I think we are, Amanda. Okay. Um, I'll have all the files and relevant material sent over to you today. Make the hospital pay. They deserve to. 